Hello everyone. Today I'm just going to record this video about this VTEC VSP736A uh, SIP or VoIP telephone. It has gigabit pass-through, so two Ethernet sockets, and uh, runs off of PoE. The only telephone I could find which was sensibly priced and had so many programmable keys down the side with lights to signify uh, whether somebody was on the phone or whether somebody's phone was ringing um, or you need to get a phone which then takes uh, an extra kind of add-on what they quite often called sidecar or side cart um, which is a bit annoying so there we go, I've just booted up this telephone um, there are all of these lights on the right hand side which are green are for different extensions in the building um, and uh, so ringing a telephone number let's try um, the BT Newsline Oops. London Leader supports Capital's digital future City Centre Blaze hits telephone and the call quality is good, the handset feels alright, this handset is a little bit light but is still totally acceptable. Um, most people won't notice it, I'm just quite sensitive to, to light telephones so there's a um, an Astra or a Stara phone I think, um, an old style ISDN phone system which has a terrible kind of plasticky really light handset and each time you put it up to your ear you can feel or uh, hear the handset creaking and so having a telephone conversation on it is really quite I find distracting um, and so these things can also take deployed settings which is what I have done I've just noticed that it hasn't received the the time via NTP but that'll be uh, something to do with the way my network set up because this is not on site where the phone system is so I've got like two layers of VPN to, to get into the phone system yeah it's configured uh, one of the things I also needed for this telephone is, or the telephones that I was going to get for this site, is the ability to remote program it. So this is configured with a fairly small script. Uh, let's see whether I can get that in focus. So that's pretty much it, you've got uh, resync so don't try and do firmware update tells it where to get the firmware from uh, how often to resync the config passwords syslogging um, so I could tell what stuff's doing, why not, it doesn't really take up a lot of um, storage space or CPU usage and then busy lamp features, so those are all the lights on the right hand side of the telephone then at the end we've got two buttons which do quick dial, so basically people in the building can press a button and it rings two uh, external telephone numbers um, sets the ring tone and the busy lamp function pickup, so if they press one of the extensions which is ringing it does start 8 and then the extension number and picks up that call so let's see uh, if we can get an incoming call on this uh, this telephone is not one of the uh, main ones which rings when a call comes in so the call will not um, come in as, a, as if it was a normal inbound call but it will appear in these busy light functions uh, they've got a hunt group which will ring one telephone, it will then ring another telephone and then it will ring two more, so you should see these lights kind of dance around. So I'm going to trigger my phone system here to ring them, or the telephone number that this Eris Terminal VTEC phone is on, and uh, you'll see what the busy lights look like. So that's me triggering a call. Let me just uh, answer it. About now, it should move on to the next person in the hunt group. 
There we go, moved on. And then again, another 15 seconds later or so, it should move on to ringing two different extensions. And then what I can do is answer that by pressing on one of these ringing calls. And there we go. And we'll get feedback. Woo! If somebody in the building made a call or picked up their telephone to dial somebody, one of these lights would go red so that you'd know that you can't speak to them. Uh, all these obviously would normally have a name on them. No, this, this thing hasn't been filled in yet, so there is a printed template which hasn't been put into here which says, you know, Janet, uh, Emily, Jane, Bob. But yeah, pretty good phones because uh, I think they're pretty powerful. It looks like now they are reselling SNOM or SNOM phones uh, and I, they certainly the SNOMs don't have as many busy light functions. They do have something which I think might be slightly nicer in some ways um, which is they have a display I think about here where uh, it's got two the, the buttons are on either side of the display and you can um, put names on the display dynamically so you can use the a bit like the config file which I showed you there you could have uh, with if somebody changes in the company with this one you have to take out this bit of paper and put in another bit of paper with a new name on it or, or you know put a cross through it and scribble on another name uh, so with the LCD version you could just change it in the config on the uh, phone system or at least on your HTTP server or your TFTP server on a text file and it would update uh, the next time the phone's pulled in the new config um, but I just don't think it's going to be quite as, as pretty as these green buttons um, so yeah if I ring uh, let's do that phone and it changes to indicate that it's ringing Yeah, quite impressed with them, and I, I hope that they last for, for years to come. Uh, the documentation for the how to do the provisioning and all the config files is pretty good, um, so I'm very impressed with that. And if this video has been helpful, I'd be really, really pleased if you wouldn't mind subscribing, because YouTube seems to be making it more and more difficult to uh, monetize videos, and the number of subscribers really makes a difference. So. Uh, that would be a great help to me. Thank you. And just before I go, a quick shot of the underside of the phone. You've got the uh, where the hands headset or handset, sorry, plugs in on the side here, and uh, you have the main network port there where PoE would go in, the pass through or the the switch or the dual ports, so you can plug the computer in there. Remember, it's gigabit. Uh, that would be for the sidecar or for the additional uh, panel of buttons if you needed one or had one and then if you weren't using PoE it's 5 volts and I think it's got the amps written there hmm mm, not that I can see, oh no it's on the sticker up here 5 volts 1.5 amps and then on the top part of the phone well, they're not going to be very easy to see in the light here. There's a plastic cover covering where you would plug in an SD card if you wanted to uh, have an answer phone service directly on the phone or um, if you wanted to record calls directly on the phone rather than at your phone system. If you have any questions as well, please do post them in the comments of the video because I will should still have access to these telephones uh, in the year or years to come so if you have any questions I might be able to answer them for you